Welcome to Quick Learning. Today, in this session, we will address an answer to a question that was asked by one of our members that how to get the details of a GRN and invoice for a specific purchase order and how to get the details like when that material was received against that purchase order and when its invoice was booked etc. So for that first of all we must know the exact purchase order number for which we want to get these required details. So what we will do we will go into ME 53 and transaction that is display a purchase order. So we will open it and this screen will appear in front of you and in that screen there will be some random purchase order. Uh, in front of you okay for example if I do ME23N then the any random purchase order will be open in front of you so when this window will appear and then we will write our required purchase order number in it so this random some purchase order has opened we will press this button you can see this button to go into other purchase order or we can press shift plus f f5 i have clicked it i will paste my purchase order number for which i want to get the details i will press enter and then required purchase order will appear in front of me okay so when this purchase order will appear you we can simply know what is the purchase order number who is the vendor uh, what are the materials which are created in this purchase order etc and all the relevant details to get the details of GRN goods receipt number invoice etc what we will do we will go in the purchase order history tab that is on the lower bottom this is purchase order history I will press click and then you can see that against each line item this detail will be appeared in front of you so what it is saying it is saying that for the first line item this material code the material goods received was created on 25th of october 2021 with this quantity and with this much amount and its entry was done on 26th october at 12:40. and this is the goods received number we can just press this goods received number and this material document num material document will be opened separate window which will show us all the details okay the bill of landing header text etc so you can see that we have opened up you and all the details related to gr are visible similar details related to invoice are also visible that invoice against this purchase order was booked on 29th of october and this is the material document against which the invoice is booked so you can see all the details related to this invoice is visible here in front of us and you can see that uh, uh, you know we can explore all the required details so see this is very much easy for all of us to check all the required details uh, of uh, the goods received or the invoice for any purchase order there is another way as well instead of going to ME23N I can just go to ME2M this is also for the purchasing documents and I can simply write the purchase order number then this purchase order number will be opened in a separate screen I can double click on it to get the details and then the same window will appear in front of me so if we have a list of purchase orders then we can use ME2M transaction and we can enter all the document numbers here in the multiple selection tab one by one. In this way we, have, we will have a list of purchase orders and we can open one by one all the purchase orders. So what I have tried to make you understand is that we can get all the details of any purchase order be its cost its items its goods receipt number the material document number of gr the invoice details etc 
if we simply know the purchase order number. So we must know the purchase order number and we can get all the relevant details with it. Okay. So one other thing is if we don't know the exact purchase order number but we know the material code then we can also search for that particular purchase order number using ME2M. We can just write any material code here for example this one and well I will press the execute button all the purchase orders related to this particular material code will be visible in front of us uh, in the screen. So I hope this video would have been very beneficial for all of you. Uh, for any questions you can just write in the transactions tab. Please like and uh, share this video and subscribe to our channel. Until next time, bye bye.